morning. morning. It's a competition for how many layers you have. <laughs> I, I think at the moment you're winning, Judy. I don't only care. Only by about one. I do not care. <laughs> yes, I've got about eight layers on this morning. Mine is five when I left home. Yeah, mm. well. Mine is seven. Seriously? Mm. How can you tell that? Just by your digital watch. Ah. Oh, very clever, very clever. Thank you for coming. Welcome and uh, please like and share. Support Fifi and Nick on the high street. And uh, over to you. Yes. Are you all right, team? Yes. Surviving? Yeah, yeah. very yes. good, very good. Nick got here early, bless his heart, and he's put everything out so I haven't had to go out in the um, cold, cold, foggy, Nick, foggy, Nick, dew Nick. weather. Nick, Nick, Nick. <laughs> Everybody needs a Nick. A so. Na a knackered Nick. A knackered Nick, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> And um, a quick shout out to Nick, not Nick, to T and Mark. If you're at my house doing some outside work, don't know how you're doing it, but uh, you've done a great job and thanks for being there and thanks for sorting it. And, and we don't have the paddy padster today no. because I'm doing something straight afterwards. So um, he's with his father. Yes, we miss him. It's not the same without Paddy here, is it's it? It's nice relief. <laughs> <laughs> and a normal person without an appendage. So, a um, couple of things to just say. We've had a really funny old week, really, but we've been to two auctions, um, collected some fabulous loot, and I'm very delighted to say that uh, the vast majority of it has gone already, which is just fantastic. Um, we, have a, we had a very, very funny impromptu evening where Barbara, who works with me, and one of our lovely, lovely customers uh, came in and we ended up having fish and chips from over the road and we shared a bottle of Prosecco and the three of us sat in the window on our French table with um, a big candelabra and um, music playing, all the lights dimmed. It was fabulous, really, really was good fun. And we had lots of people walking past and sort of doing double takes and then sort of walking back to see whether we were actually mannequins or whether <laughs> we were real. Um, it was good. Maybe maybe I could look into doing it properly and people could come in and um, spend a couple of hours here, have a fish and chips supper. Who knows? We'll have to think about it. Maybe something for the new year. What else? Um, we did a video, uh, some of you will have seen it already, of our interview with our local auctioneer, Philip. Um, Ginger and I went up and um, spent a very amusing hour, didn't we? Wandering around the she auction She was room. very amused. I was tickled to death. It was very funny, wasn't it? Um, so if you want to see that, it's, it's basically to try and um, answer any questions for the auction novice. So if you've never been to an auction before and you're a bit nervous about it, um, hopefully it will help to uh, um, make you feel a bit easier at going up and meeting them all. So that's on our YouTube channel. We did an outtakes with just the giggles. Um, on our Facebook and Instagram page, he's which um, <laughs> <laughs> he is very amusing, though, Philip is, isn't he? Yes, he's also a great raconteur, raconteur, raconteur. What is it, raconteur? Yeah, yeah, didn't sound right, <laughs> but anyway, yes, he was very good, so we had a good time up with him and possibly go back and do it again when the next auction is due. Yes, yes, and so for you, Nick, you've got auction collection stuff to do today, haven't you? Sounds like it. Sounds like it, yes. <laughs> just telling you, yes, yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. So, um, without further ado then, shall we just have a, a mooch around the shop um, and see what it's got? So, Tony on there, Tony Gardner, bless her. So, <coughs> sorry, I thought that lady was actually coming in then. Oh, oh right, okay. <laughs> keep going. Right, keep so going. keep going. Um, um, well, just let's just wander, let's just wander. Yeah, so we sat in the window here with the candelabra going. It was just the best. We've got a lovely candelabra there with the pink candles on. That's $54.95. I mean, how pretty is that? I don't know if you'd see it. You might better see it that way round, Ginge. Um, it's got this lovely Italian table with the gilt work here and the paint on it and the what's that top called not laminated patinated, patinated top god i can never remember pat. that that table's name is pat, pat the table that's pat. how i have to remember yeah. it um yes just wonder we've got two more saws in these were done by a local chap 
he does all the sign writing himself. Um, I think they're very funny just as a, a gift for a guy. Something for the weekend, sir. Or that a woman. Rather nice, Lots I suppose, sauce. yes. But they're more sort of barbershoppy things. <laughs> um, this one, moustache trimmer. That was quite a good one there, with gentleman only on it. Uh, we've got the lovely carved bull head here. That's on for £75. Got more alphabets in. We've got quite a range of these now. They're on our top shelf over there. So anybody looking for a little gift, they come gift wrapped and they're $12.99 and they have the nice bound book backs to them. Just a nice little gift for somebody. The um, baubles, we've only got a few left now. They're really, really pretty and those are half price and I can't remember what they started out at. $3.90 for the heart that's there and those are Three ninety as well, I think. So yeah, they're all half price. Beautiful shades. Look at our lovely early Victorian shades that we collected from the auctions. Amazing at full Isn't it Gorgeous, and it's in such brilliant condition. The whole thing. And um, well, that one just flew out. It was only in the shop yesterday, and it sold yesterday afternoon. So that was delightful. We've got the beautiful, beautiful oil painting there of the um, Black Panther. Those eyes sort of follow you around the shop. That's on for 650, done by the lovely Emma Catherine, who's based in Bristol. Hello, Simon. Oh, Simon, how are you, darling? Are you still in the hospital? No, he's not. He's, he's not. not. Good. Speak to you later, Simon. Just stay warm and tell us if you need anything. Um, we've got the lovely lady here. She's very sweet, this little girl. Bust, 79.95. Got a lily of the valley motif on it as well just at the base uh, we've got the very nice um, bedside cabinets we've moved them around so you can see them slightly better now that's on there for 195 each the grey hand heads very stylish they are in terracotta so they could be indoors or outdoors they're 79.95 and the two beautiful big heavy lamp bases they're made from solid wood very heavy very stylish and those are 265 each. We've got the lovely French mirror, which is done with um, decoupage um, up on the wall there. That's 175. We've got the uh, fun little parrot lamp. I've got a blue one as well down in the other room. And that one is on for 124. We've got lots of little gifty things. This is quite nice. A little candle here with a sort of a crystal glass top. That's on for 995. Lots of Christmassy bits in the middle still. Everybody wanting table mats from um, Neptune, they are really good value and those are the only ones I've got left now. Um, blah, 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 blah. What else? Oh, the lovely bird decorations. These are really nice. You can get a box of five for £25 or you can buy individual ones for £6 and they just explain on the back about what the bird signifies. Really pretty, nice little decoration to hang on your tree. The paint, while we're up here, um, I don't know if anybody will have seen it, but if you haven't, you might want to check it out on our Instagram page and our Facebook page. We had a wall colour named after us, it's called Fifi's Fancy, which I was absolutely chuffed to bits about. That's the colour, doesn't always show up that well when you're looking through a camera lens. And Nick um, painted my dining room with it. So if you head over, you'll see what the colour looks like on the wall. And it's absolutely fantastic. Simon Stone, thank you so much for your shop. It's a balm for a healing soul. Looks absolutely lovely. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Thanks, Simon. We look forward to seeing you properly soon. Um, yes, yeah, so if you want to have a look and see what the Fifi's Fancy paint looks like on the walls, head over to our Instagram and Facebook page. And, YouTube. and it did look fantastic. Yes, it's on YouTube as well, isn't it? The whole thing, starting from... Uh, before, during and after. What else? We've got a lovely, gorgeous little um, Adam style uh, console table for Demi Loon here with a marble top. That's on for 225. That came in from auction yesterday. Absolutely love it. Really stylish, very pretty. And I love these, um, but that was facing the wrong way, these, these triple crowns in that one, which is on for 115 and this little cross on the top of the circle, the scepter in there, which is 110. Really love them, and they just happen to look really quite nice on that little table. These are nice, these little wall sconces, uh, 49.95 for the pair. 
got the beautiful big Indian mirror, which um, I don't know why it hasn't gone. I just adore it. It was on for $4.99.95 and it's been reduced to the $415. So if anybody wants a bit of a sexy old mirror, that's pretty good. Um, we've got the pair of horses here. Now you can buy them um, as $94.95 each. We've got two or $180 for the pair. They always remind me of Uncle Val. Mm. Always. And I love this. This is cute. This is on for $35.95. And um, it's just a dear little metal yeah, pot. Yeah, love burner. You could probably put something in that and like fragrant, spicy yeah. things and let it let it simmer on top of the love burner, couldn't you? Mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You could try it. Don't see why not. But I love the little motif on it. It's got a number mm. five in it. Just a sweet little thing. I'd like it on a desk and put all my pens and things like that in it. We have one left of the red hearts here. That's thirty-five pounds. They're made from um, salvaged old oil drums, which are rather nice. And then the little elephant mask there, the Indian one, made from woods, that's $24.95. We've still got some Christmas cards here, very good value. Um, we've got some funny ones at the back, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, the sign, which would look gorgeous in somebody's kitchen or even an outside kitchen, uh, that's on for $48.95, um, that's hand painted. Um, we've got the picture of the foot, that's a little oil painting, um, that one is, ooh, 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 I can read, 39.95, I don't know if you can see that, but I, I kind of like that picture. Oh, I like your new shelves. Which new shelves? new shelves? No, they've been there. Have they? Yeah, oh, good couple of different years. Things, <laughs> different things I've seen I've seen them with fresh eyes. Yeah. We've got the lovely little old fashioned rocking horse, I think that is just so sweet. And that one is on for 57.95. Um, usual bits and pieces on the shelves. We've got, you know, candles and lovely little um, jardinier, or could even be used as a little bin. That's enamel. That's twenty four ninety nine. We've got the glass cloche here, which is super at forty two ninety five. Um, candlesticks forty three ninety five for the pair. The pair of um, acorn bookends. These are quite nice actually. Um, those are forty four ninety five. Everything's quite nice. Actually. Everything's quite nice. It's all quite nice, and it's all quite, quite lovely. I love that jug. It's still here. It's I know this Simon's is the one that Simon's jug. This is the one Simon should be Simon's having. Simon's jug. Yes. Um, what else? We've got the magnificent sofas. Is it the same jug, or is it? It's the one? same one. I don't understand why it hasn't gone. Especially as Simon should have it. We had a builder in yesterday. We've taken our scaffolding down at last. Oh, great. So now we're part of the whole street again, which is great. And the builder came in to say goodbye. And he tried on that hat, looked amazing on him. He then tried on the mortarboard, looked fantastic. And then he tried on the top hat. So he decided it was going to be our hat model. They just all fitted him and he looked super stylish in them. I think he was quite taken with it. Um, what else, Nick? Well, we've got these lovely ginger jars behind me here. Oh, yes. I'll just move that out of the way. Yes, they're really stylish, super gorgeous those are, and those are on for 155 each, or 295 for the pair. Really big, substantial ones with the lovely crackle glazed um, finish. They just nice look beautiful. buttocks behind. Yes, lovely pair of buttocks behind. I do think he's <laughs> rather gorgeous. He needs to be a little sort of model dog. Really Nick, obviously. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Took ages to get that right, didn't it, Nick? Um, we've got the lovely gentleman's mirror there. That's 100. Forty-four ninety-five. It could be a lady's mirror, I guess, as well. But I always think it's quite a manly one. It's sort of Gothic Victorian. Um, could be painted, but it would be a shame because the wood is rather lovely. So the sofas. Um, these are nine foot long, so they're not going to go into your little teeny weeny house. But oh my God, they're gorgeous. A hundred, a uh, one thousand five hundred ninety-five each, or the two for three thousand. And as you can see, they just happen to look really, really nice back to back. They came out of a um, chateau in France. They're in mint condition and um, just a real sort of show-stopping piece. We've got our lovely, um, very old manch, um, mannequin lady here. She was on for 184. She's been reduced to 145. We've got the nice little wooden top piece here. Just She's very slim, slim stylish. Though. She is very slim. I can get on your nose. Size once. <laughs> Yeah, you could really find yourself going right off her, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
still got my stag, which I'm very, very happy about in a funny sort of perverse way, a bit weird for a shopkeeper. I almost hope this one never sells because where would I find another? It's just so lovely. Solid wood, 345 pounds and the original paintwork on it. I just think it's divine. We sold my favourite little oval table this week, which happened to go so well with these two individual chairs. Um, they weren't a set, so it was perfectly okay for them to take just the table. But we have now got these two beautiful chairs in wonderful condition, and they're $74.95 for the pair. It's a nice little drawer unit. Yeah, we had this one in this week, didn't we, Nick? Um, this one's been painted using um, Stone Rosie from the Lazy Range, and we've then slightly he distressed it on the corners where it would naturally get warm and we've then coated it with lots of brownie wax and that's a really really nice little chest of drawers and that's on for 174.95 um today from the auction house i'm picking up a really nice oval mirror probably the same sort of size as this one this one's on for 195 we don't know what the other one will be yet until we get it down here and get it priced up Lovely French chair. Um, don't know where the price is on this one. It's on for 134.95 in lovely condition. Looks super stylish on a landing or in the corner of a bedroom. 134.95. You could see that in a London shop all day long for 500 quid. Always, always. I mean, goodness me, if I took all my stuff up to London, I could sort of triple, triple the prices minimum. Lovely little dressing table, this one. It reminds me of a fairy tale. That's on for 155. I mean, how sweet is that? It's a really, really pretty little thing. Um, nice chair here, beautiful condition. If you didn't like the tapestry, everything in it is so well upholstered, you could have just the top layer put on. Or if you wanted to paint it using the French sheet paint, that would paint absolutely beautifully, the whole fabric and the frame. And that's only on 74.95. Lots of these little frames dotted around all over the place. These make nice little presents. They're four ninety five each. Really sweet, and we've got several of those dotted around. This is quite nice. When somebody who lives in Gloucester, these um, what do you call these? Wine that cider that cider um, dragon cider. Cider. cider, and that actually actually got um, Gloucester printed onto it, and that's on for fifty nine ninety five. Love that dragon actually. Cider. That's the one, isn't it? Um, we've got lots of the scented um, candles. Now. I miss that. What? What's my neck? Those things. Oh, well, you better take another one with you today then, because mm. they are fantastic. If you could smell the shop when you come in, it mm. smells divine, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got two of the hairs left. This one is on for £24, and the daddy hair is on for £29. And this little one in the middle, which is much heavier, this is painted by our lovely Meg. That's on for $44.95. This is quite cute. This is a double flower pot. And that one is on for $22.95. So we've got all sorts of stuff here, really. All sorts of things. Who liked corbels? These are great. Put them in the right angle of your square arch. It just softens the edges. Got two of those, $17.95 each. Just carved corbels. And then this one, which I guess it's really just more for decoration. It has got a hook on the back so you can hang it on the wall and that is $17.95 as well. Nice bit of carved wood on that one. Bit of objet d'art. Um, what else? We've still got our lovely lady up here. She's um, £195. Heavy, solid. I know she looks a bit silly with the glasses on but it's just so I can't lose the shop glasses. Nice pair of candlesticks there. Those are $24.95 each. They look nice painted as well, so if somebody wants to paint them, they could easily. Somebody's making soup for Christmas. We've got the lovely white, uh, what do you call these things? Um, tureen soup tureens with a lid, and it comes with this spoon as well, and that's on for $34.95. I need that out, actually. So our lovely Christmas tree lady, she is now for sale. And um, she cost us an awful lot more than that, but she was in our window last year. And um, she's now sort of coming to the end of her stint here. So if anybody wants to buy our lovely Christmas tree lady, she will be on for 150, was it? Yeah, yeah 150. 
So the lights are all included, it's a, it's a set, it all comes together and the top comes off so you can be easily stored. We've got some very risque um, Christmas cards up here, they're going well. So um, if you want any last minute funny Christmas cards then do come in and see us. Oh, I'm gabbling today. What else, Nick? I'm just going to say about this table, don't understand why this table hasn't gone other than I think people possibly think it's just a display table but it's on for 220 it's the most gorgeous little um, rustic chunk bunks table um, really solid really lovely and it could be polished up if somebody wanted to sort of make it slightly more refined but I love it just as it is and I would have it in my lounge all day long with a lovely lamp on it and a bowl of fruit or some flowers or photograph frames just a super table. Don't know why it hasn't gone. I think it's just people think it's part of our display. Lovely um, heavy stone uh, pot here, which is on for sixty-five pounds. Now's the time, really, to get it out in the garden and maybe put some little crocus bulbs in it um, and see if they come up in time for the spring. So, and the Frenchy Christmas French bag. Frenchy Christmas bag. Let me just go and get one. Just as you said that, Jim. I thought to myself, French chic Christmas bag. So, if you have a French chic person that you would love to sort of give them a nice little gift, you can add to it as much or little as you like. You put them in the nice bags, they can have a colour chart, they can have the sugar soap, they can have a bottle opener, not a bottle opener, a tin opener, they can have, have a brush, <laughs> they can have a little dinky tin of paint, um, they can have a, a tin top of detailing brushes, you can add to it or take away as much as you want to. But these are just a fabulous gift to give to the um, very practical French and consumable. Person. So it's yeah. not going to be, uh, no, you know, it's going to get used and make well something creative and productive. And even these, these are lovely. These I think are tall, eleven ninety five, and they are actually the um, thermal cups, uh, and they've actually got cool beans on them, and they're just great as well. They look just like one of the French bar French sheet tins, so they're a bit of fun. We've got several of those. We had a big paint delivery which will be coming in, fingers crossed, this afternoon. So we're fully stocked with everything. And um, that's it. You're open every day till Christmas? Every day till Christmas. Mm -hmm. Knit will be here on Sunday from 11 till 3. Mm -hmm. And um, weather permitting. Weather permitting, yes, of course. Um, and we'll be back in next Friday, won't we, to do our final one of the year. And then it's into 2023. Flipping heck. How did that happen? So, yeah. that's it then, everybody peeps. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the support. It means the world to us. Don't forget to go and find us on YouTube and like and share and subscribe. It all helps Beefy stay on the high street. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It really does make a big difference. So, um, Thanks everybody. And thanks everybody for being loyal customers coming in and sharing and yes. being so supportive to Fifi as well. It's much appreciated. Fantastic lot I've got. They're just the best, <laughs> best, best customers. Cool, right. Well, have a lovely day and uh, stay safe and we'll see yeah, you next week. Yeah, stay safe as well. It's the last push <laughs> now before Christmas. So let's just do this thing, folks, and let's see what happens on the other side. Thanks Take for watching. Care. Bye bye. Bye for now.